Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mengs and I welcome you guys to another episode of the Fire Emblem character Spotlights. There were such an overwhelming amount of feedback on the last part and I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying this episode, so I'm going to keep making it for as long as you guys want to watch it. There were so many good suggestions for who to do next, but one in particular intrigued me so much I simply had to follow up on it. In this episode of the Fire Emblem Character Spotlight, we are going to be talking about the enigmatic bishop from Fire Emblem 7, Renault. Renault is perhaps one of the most mysterious characters in Blazing Sword. In order to learn about his backstory, the players must complete the game several times and support him with many different characters to learn everything there is to know about him. Little is known about Renault in his younger days, other than the fact that he was a soldier in the Kaelin army. That is where Lindis is originally from, in case you didn't know. He must be at least 60 years of age, or even older, for Wallace was still a recruit when he saw Renault for the first time, already a grown man, and we can assume at the very least that Wallace is in his late 40s. At some point, Renault lost his friend. It is not known how or why, but it devastated him. Somehow, Renault learned about Nergal and his dark experiments and sought him out, and there made a terrible deal. In exchange for becoming Nergal's killing machine to gather quintessence, Nergal would help Renault resurrect his fallen friend. For many years, Renault sought out powerful enemies and slayed them all. At some point, his paths crossed with the father of Lucius, who was a powerful mercenary too, but nevertheless, he killed him with ease. Eventually, Nurgle had enough quintessence to make his first morph, which was resurrected in the form of Renault's lost friend. It is strongly implied that this morph is in fact Kishuna, though it has never been completely confirmed. When Renault saw that it was not his friend, but an empty, soulless vessel that had been created, he saw the error of his ways and left Nurgle. Maddened by the burdens of his sins, he sought atonement in the Elamine Church, laid down his sword, and became a bishop. He was later found on the Dread Isle, where he most likely went to seek out and destroy Nurgal. After the events of Blazing Sword, he simply vanished without a trace. Clad in his bishop garments, Renault gives the initial appearance of being a peaceful figure, but a closer look at his face reveals a troubled past. His physique is certainly not that of an old, frail man, and his blunt features show signs of his past training. Renault has a very reserved personality. It is obvious he does not like to talk about his past, and in his support conversations he displays a lot of emotional grief, especially for killing Lucius' father. It is obvious that he has gone through many changes in his life, first as a young soldier, then as a vicious killer, and then a troubled holy man. The game somehow manages to protect this very well in his dialogues, making him one of the more complex characters in Fire Emblem history. As a unit, Renault is not very impressive, but taking a closer look at his stats reveals something very interesting. These are the stats of a hero or swordmaster, not a bishop. His low magic probably stems from the fact that he hasn't been a bishop for a very long time, or that he simply does not have as much talent with magic. His high skill, hit points, speed and defense on the other hand, reflect a past as a martial warrior, which I quite like. In game, his low magic kinda makes him tricky to use, and he's more useful as a staff bot than anything else. His growths are low, befitting of a pre-promote, and he's only available in 2-3 chapters depending on what mode you're playing on. He does come with a fortify staff, however, which is quite useful, but often simply passed over to another staff user with a higher magic stat at the point you get him. Sadly, his unit sits not really a useful one, and the only real compelling reason to use him is because of his interesting dialogues and support conversations. Still, if you find yourself lacking a decent secondary healer, Renault is ready to step in. And if you need a candidate for the S-rank Light Tomes in the final chapter, he can feasibly get there if you allow him to see some combat. Thanks to his constitution score of 9, which is the highest of the Light Magic users in this game, he can wield the ultimate Light Tome without any speed penalty. Thank you for watching this Fire Emblem Character Spotlights. Let me know who you want featured in the next episode by telling me in the comments section. If you would be so kind as to give this video a like, that also helps out my channel a ton. And if you hit the subscribe button, you'll be automatically notified when the next video is released. At any rate, my name's been Manx, and I'll see you guys next time.